Hi everyone. So yesterday we talked about isomers, structural isomers, and I left you with C7H14 to do for homework. Uh, how many did you guys get? Well, <laughs> let's take it up. Let's take this up. Okay. So I have this one. Okay, so I hope you guys are getting used to doing a uh, condensed formula. Because as I said, uh, we're going to do condensed formula most of the time. Okay, structural formula is just too much work and a lot of irrelevancy. So here it is. N heptane. Okay. I'm sure all of you got that one. I hope. Did you guys get this one? O2. Okay, six carbon long chain with one side group stemming from number two carbon. I call this two methyl heptane. In heptane. Mm -hmm. I meant hexane. Okay. Well, then I decided to move my one carbon side group to the number three position, like this one. And I have three methyl hexane. Okay. Do you think I'm going to move it to this position and have four methyl hexane? No, I, I wouldn't do that. Because I can just count backwards and that will still be 3 methyl hexane. So I'm pretty much done with the hexane family, which means I can have two branch like this CH, CH, CH2, CH3, like this one. Okay, I would call this 2, 3. There's two of them, so dimethyl pentane. Okay. You know what? I'm going to be lazy. I'm going to do this now. Okay. I guess you guys can fill in the H's. It will always make sense. So I have this, which I call two... Four dimethyl pentane. Do you think there's more? Oh yeah, there's more. There is more. Just... There's this one. Two two dimethyl pentane. Okay, hope you guys have that one. Do you guys have the cross? This one? Three three dimethyl pentane. Okay, do you think that's it for pentane? Do you think there's more pentane? I have two, three dimethyl pentane. I have two, four, two, two, three, three. Don't tell me there's four, four. I won't appreciate that very much. Okay, or anything with one and five. That wouldn't mm -hmm. never happen. But I wonder if you guys got this one. Okay, coming from the middle, you have this. Oh, you have that. Oh, wait a minute. I, I haven't seen this before, haven't I? Okay, here's my longest chain. Again, this one doesn't matter how I number it. One, two, three, four, five. But take a look at my side group. This is not a methyl side group, is it? 
No, this is a side group coming from number three. And this side group is two carbon connected to each other. So we're not looking at methyl. We're looking at, at number three position. This is what we call an ethyl. Haven't seen that before, huh? 3-ethyl pentane. Okay. We're going to look at some complicated ones today. And there's another system that we will have to know. Okay. So this is actually 3-ethyl pentane. Now, is that it? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Is 8 it? No, I found one more. This is a four carbon substituent. I can have one coming up here, one going down here, and one going up here or down there. Doesn't matter. Did you guys got this one? This is your longest chain. One, two, three, four. I actually have three side group here. Okay. Now, bef before I do my one, two, three, four. Now, can I do one, two, three, four? The answer is no, I wouldn't do that. I would go left to right. Because if you look at left to right, I will say two, two, three. Trimethyl. Two, two, three, trimethyl. If you go this way, it'll be 233. What's better? 223 versus 233. Three. Of course, 223 is better. Okay? The lower the number or the lower combination of number, the better. That's how it works. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a lot of examples that will kind of illustrate that today. All right, so this guy is called 222. Two, Three trimethyl butane. There's nine isomers for C7H14. Now, if you have one that I don't have, so if you have a Pokemon here that in your sheet that I don't have here, try to challenge me. Okay? On the comment. Write down a name, okay? I will gather them for the next class. I will draw what you wrote down, and I will tell you, hey, I already have that, okay? Let's do that. Let's do that tomorrow. So, um, that's all I got. I got nine, okay? Feel free to tell me that there is one more, two more, or whatever. Okay, so let's move on to today's lesson. So we're going to look at more of these alkanes, but I'm going to draw these really, really ridiculous ones. And let's see if you guys can follow along, okay, write as we write, I guess write as I write, and uh, see if you can name them. Clear this page. Let's see if we can name these guys. So let me draw this with you. We're going to do three examples today. I went to the max. Let's put a side group here, a side group here, side group here, side group here. Great. Ooh, almost made a mistake there. So I have this ridiculous looking organic compound. 
Can you name him? Well, let's look at the method of naming. Okay, first you want to find the longest carbon carbon chain. No matter. That was easy. I found it right there. Okay, now you want to assign number. Are you going to go from left to right or right to left? Well, you want to look to see your lowest number or lowest combination of number in this case. Because if you go from left to right, you hit a side group at number two. But if you go from right to left, you also hit a side group at number two. But, 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 if that's the case, you look at the second side group. So left to right, you hit another side group number three. So you have two, three, two, three. But if you go from right to left, check this out, two, two. So what's better, two, two or two, three? Uh, of course, two, two. So how are you gonna number this? Right to left. Well, I did go to the maximum. Okay, which means this, 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 and that are all side group. So, here's the rule. Just like what we said before a couple of days ago, you're going to name all the side group with their positioning and then name the longest chain. But in this case, we have multiple side group with multiple positioning and multiple name. What do we do? The answer is you list them in alphabetical order. So I have a methyl here. 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 Okay. Alphabetical order, right? Go by M. What about this guy? Is he a methyl? No, he's a propyl. Alphabetical com comparison, it'll be the P. How about this guy? He's an ethyl. He's some before, just on the last, last page. He's an E. So how are we going to name this? Well, we're going to name this alphabetically. Okay. So it'll be E versus P versus M. So E comes first. So we will name this guy first. So the name for this ridiculous looking compound is going to be at position number six. There is an ethyl. What's after E? It's M. Ooh, but then there are four of these M. So you will say at position two, two, eight, and nine, there is four methyl group. Now, a lot of students tend to forget about the four, the tetra. Or the di or the tri, whatever it may be. They forget that. They, they say 2289 methyl. No, I can't say that. You have to say 2289 tetramethyl. Telling readers that there's four methyl group here and they're in position 2, 2, 8, and 9. Okay? Then, of course, is P at position number 5. There is a propyl group. Okay, I think I took care of all the side group. Now let's name the longest chain. The longest chain is a 10 carbon long chain. So that will be decane. So this compound, which I don't think it exists in the real world anyway, is called 6 ethyl 2289 tetramethyl 5 propyl decane. Try to say that five times fast. No, I'm only kidding. Don't do that. Anyway, let's do another one.
That's one of the three that I'm gonna uh, have for you. Let's clear this page. Let's do another one. Okay. Maybe I'll do this one. I'll draw it. Pa you guys pause and see you guys can get the same answer that we're gonna get together. Okay. So let's draw this. Okay, here it is. You can pause now and see if you guys can um, figure out what the name is. Okay? But of course, I'm gonna continue. All right, this is interesting. Longest carbon carbon chain. I hope you didn't say this. <laughs> I hope you didn't say that. Okay, this is not the longest carbon carbon chain. I can find something longer. Nobody said it has to be straight. You just have to make sure that carbon connected to carbon connected to carbon. So therefore, I have this. Ooh, look at that. This is my longest carbon carbon chain. And this longest carbon carbon chain is 10. Because if you were to do it straight, it would just be nine. That would make any sense. All right. So hopefully uh, you didn't get tricked. But part two, how am I going to number this? Left to right or right to left? Well, it seems like I will hit side group at number three. If I were to go that way. I would hit side group also at number three if I hit that way. Okay, all right. But what about the second side group? I would say one, two, three. I would hit my second side group until five. But if I were to go this way, I will hit my second side group at four. Hey, three, four is much better than three, five. So, my numbering is going to be from left to right, like this, okay? Because I want my side group to inherit the lower combination of numbers. All right, let's name this. So here's side group, side group, side group, side group, side group. Don't forget about this one. Okay, uh, ethyl first because E comes before M, so it's at number four position. I have four ethyl, and then I have three, five, six, eight, another one of these tetramethyl and decane. Okay, hopefully, you got this. Uh, anything else would be wrong. Okay. Let's do one more. This one I personally like because this brings a little dilemma.
here it is. Can you find where the longest chain is going to be? This one is simple. I did not trick you or anything. It's going to be here. This is your longest chain. I might as well just write it in. This is your longest chain. Big problem here. Left to right or right to left. Because if you look at left to right, two, three. Right to left, oh, also two, three. Hmm, what am I going to do? Because it's not like it doesn't matter. It does matter because of this guy. Okay, this guy is an ethyl. Whereas this is a two, three, dimethyl. This is a two methyl, three ethyl. Well, if you come to a cross row like this, you have to think to yourself, they're both two, three. This is two, three, this is two, three. Okay? You would have to look to see, okay, which one is a better bet? And that better bet comes to alphabetical order. Okay, so if numbering is the same, you look at alphabet. Okay, you look at ethyl. Because now you want this ethyl to inherit the lower number. Going from right to left is 3. Going from left to right, you wouldn't get there until 6. So the answer, of course, is this. Okay. So sometimes you get these really tricky ones like this one asking you or thinking to yourself, oh my goodness, should I go left to right or right to left because the numbering is the same. But this ethyl is really killing me. Well, no, it's not really killing you. If the number is the same going from left to right or right to left, you look at alphabetical order. You want the one with the lower alphabet to inherit the lower number. Okay, just something to remember. So for this, you're looking at 3 ethyl, 2, 8, 8, 2, 6, 7, trimethyl, octane. Okay, so hopefully you guys are comfortable with this. Uh, let me give you one to do for homework. So let's do this. And I think you guys can do this one. That's enough punishment for you. There you go. I want you to name this. Okay, so again. Find the longest carbon-carbon chain, left to right or right to left, and assign number to them, and make sure that the numbering gives you a lower combination of side group numbers. All right, so when you name them, you put them in alphabetical order, in their positioning, and name the longest chain. Good luck, guys.